Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's WebEx Community Construction Meeting for the Misty's Run Sewer Extension Project. If you have questions, please post them yeah. in the chat. If you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little chat bubble. Just click on that and type in your questions. Um, after the presentation, we'll address those chat questions first, and then we'll welcome any of our call-in users to unmute themselves and uh, ask your questions. Your project manager is Brenda Oropesa. You can reach her at 817-392-8271 or email Brenda Oropesa at fourtexas.gov. Stephen Martinez is the inspector. He can be reached at 817-392-6051 or email Stephen Martinez at fourtexas.gov. This uh, WebEx meeting will be converted into a YouTube video. And that video will be posted to the project page on the City of Fort Worth website. The summary and frequently asked questions in both English and Spanish will also be added to that project page. Uh, we'll have the link to the project page in this PowerPoint if you want to write that down. This is also all in the chat if you just want to copy it down from the chat. So I'm going to hand this over to Brenda Oropesa. Brenda? Yes, thank you, Sally. Um, so during today's agenda, we will be going through introductions, which Sally kind of hit already, um, an overview of the project, the project area being affected, the monetary impact this will have, a project checklist, and the timeline for the project. So as Sally mentioned, um, your construction project team includes myself, Brenda Oropesai. I am the project manager. My phone number is 817-392-8271, and my email address is brenda.oropeza, O-R-O-P-E-Z-A, at fourthwordtexas.gov. The inspector for this project is Stephen Martinez. His phone number is 817-392-6051, and his email address is stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, dot Martinez at fourthwordtexas.gov. The engineering design consultant is BGE Incorporated um, with Donald Ling as a project manager and Reyes Group is the contractor with Jason Cherian as the construction manager. Project overview. So sanitary sewer will be extended to Misty's Run from the intersection with Keller Hicks Road to the intersection with Old End Road. This project is in the City Council District 7. Construction may impact the North Fort Worth Alliance and Village of Woodland Springs Neighborhood Association. So on the map above, you can see the project area being affected. We have um, the sewer extensions gonna run from Keller Hicks Road through Misty's Run to Old Denton Road. This the area is bound by residential to the north, east and west, and commercial to the south. Timber Creek High School baseball fields are to the northeast. Why are we doing this project? In August of 2019, the city of Fort Worth received a petition from a majority of the Misty's Run residents who requested to be connected to the city of Fort Worth sanitary sewer system. The residents are already served by a six inch water line from the city of Fort Worth. Um, as stated in the petition, um, the above were agreed upon. So the residents who signed the petition agreed to. Um, so it stated this, so I'll just go through and read them one by one. We understand that each occupied residence on, on separate lots will be eligible for 200 foot credit of sewer extension any extension costs beyond the covered credits will be divided equally among all petitioners. Homeowners will pay the tap fee and impact fee when services are requested. We also understand that the plumbing permit and plumbing reroute costs are each resident's responsibility. We understand that we have the option to pay out the tap fee and impact fee with the mechanic swing, which must be paid through our sewer bill until it is paid off. A committee, committee of no more than five property owners of the area to be served must be created. Um, sign below if you agree to the sewer extension on your behalf and will pay the tap fee impact fee before construction starts. 
or apply for a mechanics lien for both. The $24 mechanics lien filing fee in cash will need to be paid. So this just kind of states what um, was agreed upon and we had enough signatures to continue with the project. So what are Misty's run customers responsible for? Um, you will be responsible for the sewer impact fee, the sewer tap fee, hiring the licensed plumber and plumbing permit, abandonment of the exist existing septic system if you choose to connect. What are sewer impact fees? An impact fee is charged to help offset new or increased demands that require additional capacity improvements on existing wastewater systems. If an existing development presently utilizes a water well, septic tank, or individual waste disposal system, and the property owner requests to connect to the city's wastewater system, a customer will pay the fee prescribed by um, section 3570.5 prior to connection to the system. What is the impact fee for this project? The sewer impact fee is based on the size of your water meter and the year that the property was platted. So this um, specific subdivision was platted in 1982, the High Meadow Estates Edition. Most residential homes have a 5 8 inch water meter. If your property has a 5 8 inch water meter and has not been replatted since 1982, the sewer impact fee for your property is $161 per domestic meter. If you have a water meter larger than 5 8 inch meter, you may visit the city website um, listed above or contact water applications at 817-392-8250. What is a sewer tap fee? A sewer tap fee is a service fee that is charged for installing the service line from the public sewer main to the property line. The property owner taps in to the city service line at their property line. For the Misty's Run Sewer Extension, the sewer tap fee, which was based on the contractor's bid, is $2,725.75. What part of the sewer line are customers responsible for? So the city side of the line starts at the main, which can be seen above that blue line um, and goes to the customer sewer clean out, which is depicted by this. On the image above, the customer side of the sewers line goes from the sewer clean out to the house and includes all plumbing inside the house. So we will be installing the sewer main up to the clean out and you will be responsible for installing um, the private side plumbing. Um, a licensed plumber or homeowner is required to install a private sewer service line from the residence to connect to the two-way cleanout at the property line. The cleanout straight into a sewer main, and um, you will need to have a licensed plumber to make this connection. Why do I need a plumbing permit? Per plumbing code, a plumbing permit is required when plumbing is installed, changed, or repaired. The permit must be obtained by a licensed plumber registered with the city of Fort Worth or a homeowner. Um, if you are a homeowner wanting to install the majority of the private line, Um, so, a homeowner must contact development services for information on what is required for a homeowner to apply for a permit. And that was at is that the same number. Is it that 8173922222? So, the homeowner must contact development services for information on how what is required for a homeowner to apply for the permit. Disconnecting the septic tank and reconnecting to the Fort Worth public sewer main is at the homeowner at the homeowner's expense. The application fee for the plumbing permit starts at $28 and you can call 817-392-2222 
or email devcustomerservice at fourthwordtexas.gov. Can we keep our septic tank? Public, public sewer line that is being installed will allow customers to connect to the Fort Worth's water system. In order to connect to the Fort Worth's wastewater system, you will be required to abandon your existing septic tank system. What is involved in abandoning a septic system? All tanks, boreholes, cesspools, seepage pits, holding tanks, and pump tanks shall have the wastewater removed by a liquid waste transporter registered with the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality, um, TCEQ, be filled with fill material that is less than three inches in diameter and free of organic and construction debris. Residents shall provide the following to the city inspector. A receipt that wastewater has been removed by a waste transporter, proof that the tank has been filled and um, you will coordinate with the inspector on that. So here we have a breakdown of the cost. So the city of Fort Worth's cost to extend the sewer service um, will be approximately $674,186. And we will be also repairing the street, which will cost approximately $264.42. So the estimated cost to the city is $938,228. The homeowner's cost to connect to the, the city of Fort Worth's um, sewer line will um, be, I'll go through above and break it down. So the sewer impact fee based on a 5.8 meter uh, that was platted in 1982 will be $161. The sewer tap fee, which was based on the contractor's bid, will be $2,725.75. And the plummet permits um, start at $28 and um, depend on the footage that you will be installing for your um, private sewer line. The private sewer lines to connect to the public sewer main and the cost to abandon the septic tank. Will the contractor need access to our property? We will be installing the public sewer main in the right of way. We will only need access to your front yard to install the sanitary sewer clean out, which will be installed at the property line. In Fort, if Fort Worth Water needs access anywhere on your property, we will contact you prior to the start of construction. Do we have to connect to the city's sewer main? We ask that property owners who sign the petition comply with the homeowner's responsibility and connect to the city sewer. If you did not sign a petition and do not want to connect, you may continue to your, use your existing septic system until you choose to connect to the Fort Worth system. At that time, contact Water Development, development at 817-392-8250 to pay the necessary fees. Do I have to pay my tap fee before construction ends? Yes. The tap fee must be paid before construction ends. After the extension project is completed, a different tap fee will apply because the fee will no longer be based on the contractor's fee bid. The future tap fee will be higher than the fee that was established from the contractor's bid. Unauthorized connections to the city's sanitary sewer system are prohibited. How do I pay my sewer impact and tap fees? You can contact water applications at 817 392-8250 or email water apps, which is W-A-T-E-R-A-P-P-S at fourthwordtexas.gov. The office is located on the lower level of Fourth Ward City Hall at 200 Texas Street, and the hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. Where will the service line be? An exhibit similar to what is pictured was mailed to all residents. 
It shows the tentative locations of the sewer service line for your lot. To change the proposed location for the sewer line, please mark the location on the exhibit and email it to myself, brenda.oropesa at fourthwardtexas.gov. When can customers connect to the city's sewer main? Customers can connect after the city has completed installation of the public sewer main, the required sewer tap and impact fees have been paid, and the customer or customer's plumber have obtained a permit and extended the private sewer service line to the lot line. Does the city offer financial assistance? For residents who are not able to immediately pay the sewer impact and tap fees, they can sign a promissory note with the city to cover both costs. This agreement subject to city approval provides a mechanics lien, including 6% interest payable to the city within five years for these fees. For additional information, call 817-392-8250 or email wateraps at fourthwordtexas.gov. And that's W-A-T-E-R-A-P-P-S at fourthwordtexas.gov. Checklist for connecting. Um, I believe we will also provide a checklist on the um, web page itself, but here it's broken down, so you must pay the sewer impact fees, pay the sewer tap fee. The city will then install the sewer main and repave the existing roadway. The homeowner or plumber obtain a plumbing permit. The homeowner or plumber extends a private sewer line to connect to the sewer main. And then the homeowner or plumber coordinates with development services to inspect the connection to the sewer main, which if you recall was when we make that connection right here. Um, and then the homeowner abandons the septic tank, which must also be coordinated with the inspector. Timeline, the contractor will be on site starting January 18th, which um, I believe is next Tuesday. The contractor will start at the intersection of Misty's Run and Keller Hicks Road, then move northwesterly to Old Denton Road. And the current projected end date is November um, of this year. Here is the contact information again. My name is Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager. My phone number is 817-392-8271. And my email address is Brenda, B-R-E-N-D-A, dot O-R-O-P-E-Z-A at fourthwordtexas.gov. The inspector is Stephen Martinez. She can be reached at 817-392-6051. And his email address is Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N dot Martinez, M-A-R-T-I-N-E-Z at fourthwordtexas.gov, um, along with the engineer and design, con design consultant, and the contractor's information's up there. Where can I get more information? Progress, progress will be updated on the City of Fourth Ward's website at https um, colon forward slash forward slash www.fourthwardtexas.gov um, backslash projects backslash CFW. Um, see, <laughs> As you see above, um, a faster way to find the page is to go to www.fortwardtexas.gov and enter 103030, which is the project number in the search bar on the homepage. The link to the project maps, the project summary, and frequently asked questions, and the video of this PowerPoint will be linked to the Misty's Run Sewer Extension project page on the city's website. Thank you. and. Um, we will be answering questions from the chat. Did anyone have any questions? I'm sorry, I'm still on mute. Uh, we don't have anything in the chat, so I'm going to start unmuting people and go down the line. We've got, I unmuted Arda Venegas and call in user 10. I'm not sure you know who you are. Just gonna unmute you all. 
Okay, I see one that says, will you send a copy of this PowerPoint to us? Um, this PowerPoint, the video of the PowerPoint will be posted, right, Sally, on the city web page? Um, yes, ma'am. Probably tomorrow or in two days from now? Um, probably given two days. That the PowerPoint itself won't be on the page, but the video of the PowerPoint will be on the page. Are you wanting the actual PowerPoint? Uh, Mike Dotson? Yes, the video is fine. I just, just with the information that you had on here, it's just making sure that we could get access to that at this call. And also the same information that's in this PowerPoint will also be in the summary FAQs, which will also be on the project page. Okay. So if you don't want to want to watch a video, you can read the summary FAQs and all that'll be on there. So if you'll give us until probably Wednesday afternoon, we'll get all that posted. Okay, quick follow up. Uh, so a while back when we did one of these, I guess it was last year, and uh, I sent Brenda to you uh, a note uh, asking to move our tap a little bit to the west, and, and we had that all agreed. We don't have to do that again, do we? No, no. Um, I got got the um, revision, and I got it over to the consultant. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that that, that, that hadn't changed. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I got it over to him. See that are there liquidated damages in the project? Um, there will be liquidated damages based on if the project is not completed in time. I'm not sure exactly what that amount is right in front of me, but um, there are liquidated damages if it's not completed um, within the time frame. Let's see. Um, have another question about um, spend a moment to discuss how it will affect driving in and out of the street. So the contractor will have um, traffic control set up. Um, I don't know, Jason, did you wanna talk more about that? Yeah, hi everyone, this is Jason Chan. I'll be the uh, project manager on the contractor side. We will uh, follow the traffic control plans that provide at least one lane of traffic and you will have uh, constant access into your drivers as well. If at any point you find uh, uh, impeded the traffic, please let any of us know and we'll make sure uh, that is opened up soon. So we'll follow the traffic control plans for other cities and for our city. I did want to announce this is Beatrice Rodriguez with Water Application. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay, I just I'm here to answer any questions just in case. I'm caller ten. I or the last caller that called in. I was not able to log in. Question. Did you have a question, Beatrice? Well, traffic. No, I just wanted to make sure I was here for everyone if they had a question on those tap calls. Okay, okay. Um, I haven't had any questions yet, but I'm still reading through the com the chat comments. Um, so the driving in and out will be um, maintained by the contractor. That question. Um. What do we need to do if we are new homeowners on Misty's Run? Do we contact Brenda? Um, so if you're a new homeowner um, and you want to take a look at the exhibit, if you could either send me an email or tell me, if you send me an email, it might, it'll be easier for me to get that exhibit for you in case you need to change the location of the screen out. But if you want to pay um, your tap fees or impact fees, um, you can contact water development. Did you want to connect? Paula?
Paula, did you have a specific question in regards to the project? Uh, nothing specific. I'm just curious because we were not in that subdivision when that when everything was signed. So I'll just email you and then we'll go through that. I'll just do it that way. But we do okay. want to connect. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'll um, get you a copy of the exhibit for that lot. And in case you need to make any changes to the location of the clean out and get you some more information on that. Okay, beautiful. Thank you so very much. No problem. When I signed the petition, it was for interest, no commitment. I'm not sure what that one means. When we had the meeting and you signed the petition, it was if you were interested in having a, a sewer installed. It was not a commitment that, yes, I will pay for a tap. I think. And, that, and now you're saying if you sign the petition, you're committed to it. Uh, I was just reading, um, if you're talking about this slide, I went through and just rewrote what the petition stated on the petition itself. So this is just a copy of what the petition had um, above the signatures. But if you um, don't want to connect, we can't force you to connect. Okay, thank you. No problem. See. Question. Question. Oh, yes. Uh, can will traffic be fed from both ends of uh, Misty's Run? So, um, they'll, they'll have a traffic control uh, plan out there. So, the sewer line, I believe it's 17.5 feet off of one side of the property line. So, they'll direct traffic out there. Okay. You will be able to go in and out. If we're only going to have one lane open, you would think that direct traffic would be directional. It's either going to go from Keller Hicks over to Old Linton or vice versa, because you're going to meet cars head on. Well, if they have a fla uh, flagger out there, they do um, stop and go to. But um, well, they're going to have a flagger 24-7? I can look over the traffic control and um, get back to you on that. Who was that? Okay. It'll be great as long as they're working, but when they're not working, that's not going to work out too well. Yeah, because um, the trench will also be closed at night. They put, um, they block that off so there's not just a hole in the ground. We're still going to have only one lane of traffic. Did I misunderstand that? Maybe uh, I'll have to look at the traffic control plan. Okay. Can Jason not speak to that? I would think they already had a traffic control plan and had one approved since they're going to start pretty quick. Yes, I just don't have it in front of me. Jason, did you want to speak on that? Yeah, so uh, on a typical um, utility project like this, when it's, when it's a two lane, we do close down one lane and provide one lane of traffic. But uh, in most cases, there is there is plenty of room for uh, for us to control that traffic. For the standard, yes, it is only one lane of traffic, but uh, uh, I don't see it as a potential issue. Let me work with Brenda on refining that traffic control if needed, but it is a uh, city of Fort Worth standard that we will follow. Uh, and as Brenda said, we won't have any open holes. Obviously, um, end of the shift, those holes will be closed as needed. We'll make sure safety-wise it's all covered. Uh, but in terms of the traffic plan that Brenda is uh, alluding to, it is a city of public standard for streets like this. Streets like this with no curb and gutter? Correct, yes. That means they'll be driving in our yards. Uh, 
see. Okay, did we have any more questions? Do you have an approximate date for completion? Yes, um, it was November. Brenda, you had a question from Ron Hitchner saying TAP updates are for all, correct? Yeah, so I, um, all the revisions to the exhibits that have been submitted to me, I've gotten them over to the um, consultant and he made those changes to the plans. For Ron, um, I, yes, yes, Ron, I remember, you, remember you, Brenda, you came out and visited with, it, with an engine, with a, uh, with an engineer and we decided that where my property was, the tap needed to be moved. And yes. I, haven't, I haven't seen anything on that. So uh, Ron, you could also do this. When you see the contractor starts to go to work, you yes. can also reach out to Brenda then or the contractor, let him know and we'll take okay. note of that location again in case something got missed. But okay. I recall uh, your, yeah. your, your clean out, Ron. I remember yours. It, yes, um, okay, thank you, ma'am. No problem. Yeah, I got uh, that. Yeah, I just hadn't seen anything and I just wanted to be sure. But yeah, I thank you. I got it. Yes, I remember. Okay. Yes, and as far as questions go for the construction project, construction will inconvenience residents to a little bit, but it's we're going to try and minimize it. But the sewer line must be installed. And that involves digging a trench to put the line in. And that line will go from the downstream end to the upstream end. So like Brenda said, the road will be closed up every night. No holes will be left open. No trenches will be left open. And safety is of the most is paramount on the job. So, but unfortunately, there will be some inconvenience, but we're going to try to minimize it. Yeah. Well, so are you going to make it so that it's it's just for residents only, no through traffic? Unfortunately, we cannot do that because right now they're going through. But we'll try to make it make it drivable by the end of the day when the construction shuts down for the night. Okay. So will you be able to travel through during the day then? If you're a resident, yes. Okay. Well, I gotta have I'm supposed to go have surgery that day, January the eighteenth, and I'll either come home that afternoon or the next day, where that won't be any problem in the daytime. No, they'll still be doing um staking out there. Okay, they should be staking for a few days yet, right? Yeah. And when's our deadline to pay the tap fee and the impact fees? So whenever the sewer main has all been installed and once they start, um, I can um, let Shauna know, Shauna Combs, I think she has um, a Facebook page. She keeps up yes. I can let her know um, when that time's coming. Okay. So she can let everyone know. I'll want to let everybody know we all have Facebook. And we'll put it on the website as well. But just to make it easier, we'll do both. Yeah, I'll make sure and put it out there. Okay. Hey, Brenda, you've got a question from Mark Presswood. Would you discuss the payment process after the line is installed? How does that work? So once um, the line is installed, they'll do temporary and then we'll come back and do um, asphalt pavement. So it'll, it's some um, machine that comes through and does the asphalt. So uh, as the line is installed, the contractor will put down temporary pavement repair so that the roadway is drivable to a, a pretty decent extent. And once that's all in, all the service lines are installed, they'll come back and do permanent asphalt on the job overlay. You're going to overlay the entire street? With, yeah, full width. The insert to our driveways from the street, will that be asphalted back in? We should, Jason, correct me if I'm wrong, we should not be touching folks' uh, private driveway, correct? Well, it's still in within the easement, but there's a, like on mine, there's a, uh, paved for a few feet and then it's concrete from that point on. Okay, whatever the contractor takes out is obligated to put back. Okay. So whatever can we have him, can we have him do that? Can we have him do that ins insert? 
What inside are you talking about? Uh, where the street, where it goes into the driveway, there's about, uh, I don't know, five feet that's... Uh, are, are, you talking about the, are you talking about a driveway approach? Yes. Okay, so why don't you do this? If you could, go ahead and take pictures of whatever you want to before we get going so you have documentation. And our contractor is also going to take pictures before the job starts so that if there's any discrepancy, we'll look at your picture, look at, look at our contractor's uh, pictures and put things back like we found it. That's the goal. Gotcha. Question. Will mail delivery continue during the project? Yes. There won't be a disruption to your mail delivery service. Have y'all confirmed that? Because when y'all did the uh, all the drainage work, they refused to deliver on mail, and it wasn't near the impact of what this is going to be. It's true. Yeah, the mail service must be maintained. So uh, there's there's nothing to talk about on that one. Well, they didn't deliver our mail last time. What job when was that? When y'all did the storm sewer work, they did not deliver our mail. So it is an issue. So that's the storm. That's the storm drain or sanitary sewer. You when know you, which one that was. When you did the storm drain, okay. and you cleaned all the collards. So I could. The state postal service did not deliver our mail. We had to go into Keller to get our mail. Hmm. Sorry about that. I don't know what their policy is. That you may know something I don't. Oh. Well, uh, Well, there's, there's a question six. similar to that from uh, Darla Wallace. She wants to know, will our brick and stone mailboxes be destroyed? No, the mailboxes should not be touched. If they are touched, they'll be um, replaced as they were before. Okay, and then she also said the initial tap fee of $600 was acceptable, but now over $2,700 is not acceptable. Um, we haven't discussed tap fees before. Uh, during our initial design meeting, we said we would discuss them during this meeting. No, I'm going to disagree with that. Y'all talked about that. No, what we said, if I recall correctly, was that tap fee will be determined after we receive bids. So nobody ever said 600 was the tap fee. We said when we advertise the job, the tap fee is determined from the bid that we received from the contractor. That's just our standard operating procedure. I don't remember it that way. And it was not 20, anywhere close to that kind of money. Because if you'd have said 2,700, I guarantee you most people probably would not have signed that they were interested. That's, that's what the contractor is charging us. And it's actually less than the current ordinance fees. Okay, that's all the questions we have in chat. Is there anyone who hasn't had a chance to ask their question? No, ma'am, I'm not here. I'm fine, Ron Hitcher's fine. Do we, uh, okay. do we need to get a hold of a plumber or somebody to see where we should have our tap uh, line come out at? So you will need to get a hold of a plumber. We're going to be um, installing the cleanouts, and you will be responsible for your private plumbing up to the cleanout. So yeah. if you recall, well, on the uh, diagram that shows for my taps, going to be at the street. Uh, so actually, that's not a bad idea because your service line now is coming from. It's going to intercept from where you go to your tank and come to the front of the street. And you may have to make a 90 degree bend. I don't know exactly what your layout is. So it's probably not a bad idea. Get a plumber, come take a look at it. Yeah, mine's gonna have to be, by, uh, comes out the back side of the house. I'm gonna have to come out the south side and go west. And then, yeah. I mean, uh, north and then come back east. I have to come out I the east you... side, go north and come back west. I think your plumber was also advised you put clean outs at those bend locations. So yeah, it's not a bad idea to get a plumber. Okay. Definitely a good idea, sir. Gotcha. If for those who cannot see the the uh, chat, Shauna listed her email address, Shauna Combs. The email address is, if you've got a pen, 
Shauna, S-H-A-U-N-A, hygiene, H-Y-G, I, hang on a second, H-Y-G-I-E-N-E, it's called Shauna, hygiene, at yahoo.com. She said you can email her or you can also uh, look at the Facebook page. So we'll funnel all of our updates probably through Shauna and also on the City of Fort Worth website project page. Uh, here's another question from Mark Presswood. He said, do we know the depth of the sewer line in the street? Yes, I don't have the plans. I recall it was about um, four, 14. I think it was about 14 feet. If that relates to you trying to find out if we provide an adequate service, yes, that line is deep enough to pick up each person's service line. Yes, we did go out there and um, take elevations of the current cleanouts. Anna Moser, did you have any questions? Carolyn, Darla Wallace, Harold Brooks. Yeah, I'm Harold Brooks. I'm done with my questions. Okay. I think we got questions from Paula, uh, Susan Moore, Tony Gibson. No questions. Okay. Is there a slide that anybody needs to see uh, again before we close the meeting? Um, excuse me, this is Tony. I do have a question. We have Verizon internet lines in our ditch area right next to our mailboxes. Is there going to be an interruption to that? I know there's a lot of people on this street that work from home. Yeah, we're not doing any um, bar ditch work, so all our work will be in the actual street. Um, with the exception of, um, I think Ron had a relocation for his service, so um, his driveway will be different. Question, services like FedEx and uh, UPS will still be able to get in, right? Yeah, so with the traffic control plan we have out there, they'll be able to get in and out of the street. Just the heads up, since you've made the statement about the internet, there is some internet that crosses the street. See. Just heads up, contractor. Yeah. I noticed. I noticed that Atmos was out here. This is Ron Hitchner. I noticed that Atmos was out there marking the uh, gas lines, but I didn't see Frontier out there marking their internet lines. I have been in contact with Frontier, um, so they've reviewed the reviewed the plan. Okay, as long as they feel like they not going to lose any connectivity because they'll have some uh, upset uh, people if they do. For sure. I'll um, let them know again to make sure they don't have any issues. I, I have a contact over there. Okay. Thank Just you. remember the main trunk lines run on one side of the road and houses on the opposite side, they had to get the, the lines over there. So some of them, they board the street. So I'm telling you, there's lines out there, whether Frontier knows that or not. Yeah, I, I agree. No. Yeah. It's going to happen. Okay, Dar Darla had two things in chat. She said those lines go under the street to service both sides. I'm assuming you're talking about the internet. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And she also said, don't forget the water lines, um, expect water outages. Can you address that, Brenda? Uh, what was the question if there's water outages? She said, don't forget the water lines, expect water outages during construction. Um, we will not be replacing the water line, so there won't be a disruption to the water service.
Okay. Do we have we missed anybody's questions at all? Brenda, could you Brenda? show the slide one more time of where you're going to link this just so I can put it on the Facebook page? I'm sorry, I forgot to screenshot it earlier. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Oops. Is that it? The updated? Okay. If you just type Misty's um, in the search bar on the front page, you can also get to it, but you'll get the right oh. page if you just do 103030. Okay, thank you. Hey, I'm sorry. This is uh, Chuck Combs. I'm here with Sean and um, just so people aren't, you know, going crazy or anything about the costs. Um, we started these conversations like three years ago or more. And <clears throat> the, I'm looking at paperwork right now. We have that did show the initial estimates on this uh, were $1,600. And the wastewater uh, tap impact fee was 161. So it was 1671 initially. And I think that's what was in, it's still in people's heads now. And I know time's moved on and you guys negotiated with the contractors, but um, you know, we didn't cause any of the delays in this. So I don't know how, you know, if there could be any compensation or if it is what it is, but um, just to share, I do have paperwork showing the initial so cost was seventeen sixty. Whatever you're looking at has to be like a tentative or proposal. It's not a final cost because that cost for the tap fee is based on the contractor's bid. We didn't have a bid then. So whatever you're looking at must have been referring to this is what it could be at that point in time. That is not impact fee is always based on the bid we have. When we do not negotiate contracts, it's based on the actual bid. And the low bidder. So that was the low bidder on the job, and that's their bid. So the 600 may have been an estimate that was provided, but the actual cost is what we have now. That's what we contract to is charging us to put those taps in the line. Okay. Hey, it's time for the Alabama Georgia game. Let's go. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you cheering for? Alabama. Roll Tide. Okay. <laughs> roll Tide. Okay. <laughs> Does anybody else have questions before the game starts? Well, we appreciate you all being here. Brenda, do you want to close it out? Um, just there's the project page and my contact information. In case you um, still have a question about the location of your cleanout position, or if you need to change it, let me know before we um, go ahead and start construction. Other than that, uh, if you have any questions, please um, give me a call or send me an email. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thank you.